Hello everyone. In this video, we will see about bearings. So the topics cover will be covered will be what is about bearing, the types of meridian, whole circle bearing and reduced bearing, and how to convert from one bearing system to another bearing system, and the differences between prismatic and surveyor's compass. And also we will be seeing about the coordinate system of departure and latitude, which often comes in exams. So first of all, what is bearing? If you have a compass, it will point to a direction. So how do you know this direction? How does it point, and where does it point? So that is why we have bearings. Suppose this is the reference line, which is usually points to the north, and you have a point A. So this angle theta is the bearing of the line. Suppose this is A, this is O A. Suppose you want to know the direction of A from O. It is given with respect to a fixed line. This is the fixed reference line. This fixed reference line is called the meridian, and this angle from the fixed reference line is called the bearing of the line so theta is bearing of the line oa which is the direction to a given meridian there are different types of meridian it, there are, it is true meridian magnetic meridian and arbitrary meridian so true meridian is the reference line between north and south pole it does not change with time it points to the true north and it never changes it is constant but whereas magnetic meridian is not constant it changes with time so magnetic meridian and true meridian are not same always it is the direction which is shown by the compass when i needle is freely pointing to somewhere it is called the magnetic meridian it points towards a magnetic north arbitrary meridian is any convenience point suppose you are living in a seashore area and there is a tall tower here you can take this top of the tower as the arbitrary meridian this is only used for local purposes the system which is used to define these directions are classified into two types one is whole circle bearing which is abbreviated as wcb and another is reduced bearing which is abbreviated as rb we will see about these two systems now whole circle bearing and reduced bearing earlier we saw let us say this is the meridian which points towards the true north and this directions will be east west and south suppose you want to know the direction of this point when you measure it from north clockwise let us say it is theta 1 so the whole circle bearing of oa is theta 1 it is measured clockwise from the north south line suppose you want to measure this point b here so how do you measure you measure it clockwise from north so this is theta 2 and similarly if it is here it will be theta 3 so it is measured clockwise from north and so it varies from 0 to 360 degree whereas reduced bearing suppose for the same point b and these are north south east and west so reduced bearing is measured either from north or south whichever is closest to this line so here if you see 
if you draw from north it will become a big circle but if you draw from south it is very short so this is reduced bearing and it is referred as south theta to west and suppose a point is here a it will be measured from north because north is closest it is measured eastward from north whichever is nearer that north was nearer so this is represented as north theta 1 east so these are different quadrants it lies it can lie in any quadrant suppose this is the point you want to measure let this be theta 3 so which is closest to this point if you measure from south it is becoming it is falling in the next quadrant so you you should measure it from north so this is north theta 3 west and suppose you are doing whole circle bearing it will be measured all the way from here so this is the angle in whole circle bearing in reduced bearing it is like this in whole circle bearing is also known as azimuthal system and reduced bearing is also known as quadrantal system now let us see how to convert from one system to another the, you would have seen different formulas in different textbook and notes but that is not the best way the best way is with diagrams if you draw a diagram you will find it out easily suppose you have this reduced bearing south 60 degree west and you have to convert this into whole circle bearing system first you draw the diagram north south east and west so south 60 degree west it means it lies in this quadrant because south is there and west is there so it lies somewhere here and angle will be measured from south so this is 60 degree whole circle bearing means it will be measured clockwise from north so this is whole circle bearing you know this is 180 degree and this is 60 degree so whole circle bearing will be 180 degree plus 60 degree equal to 240 degree each quadrant is 90 degree so this quadrant this quadrant is 180 and from south to west it is 60 so it is 240 degree now let us see a reverse thing let us say WCB is given as 350 degree now you have to convert it into reduced bearing system so as usual you draw a diagram north south east and west it is 350 degree so this is 90 this is 90 and this is 90 it is greater than 270 so it lies in the fourth quadrant that is northwest quadrant if you measure it clockwise from north it will be 350 degree now you want to know the reduced bearing reduced bearing is the closest angle from north or south line so the closest angle from north or south line is this this area so you clearly know that each quadrant is 90 degree so this is 90 180 270 and this is another 90 360 degree so 360 degree minus this 350 will give you this angle which is equal to 10 degree and it is lying in north west quadrant so it is north 10 degree west so if you if you draw a diagram you can easily convert from one system to another now let us see about departure and latitude these are coordinates of a point you are seeing you are measuring point A from north like this. So what is the 
departure and latitude of this point suppose this is of length l latitude is nothing but which is parallel to the reference median here sorry i wrote this as south it is east this is south and this is west so first we will see what is latitude latitude is the line which is parallel to the reference meridian here reference meridian is north south line so parallel to north south line what is the distance so this this distance is latitude if this is l and this is theta this will be l cos theta cos theta is adjacent adjacent line is cos theta and departure is when it is perpendicular to the reference median so this area this this length is departure so departure equal to l sin theta it is very easy to remember just remember latitude is parallel to the reference median so when you draw theta and l so you will get this as l cos theta even if you forget this just remember this latitude is parallel to the reference median and this theta is as in reduced bearing suppose if it were a point here you take the reduced bearing to calculate departure and latitude don't forget this theta as in reduced bearing now let us solve one example which came in gate 2013 so they have given that latitude and departure of a line are 78 meters and minus 45.1 meters i forgot to mention in the last slide so we were seeing that parallel to the reference median is latitude and perpendicular to the reference median is departure so when it lies in this quadrant latitude is also in plus departure is also in plus when it lies in this quadrant you see it is coming below zero latitude so this is minus and departure will be plus now in this case departure is this side this side of zero so departure will be minus latitude is also minus because it lies in this direction so here latitude is plus departure is minus so these are the sign conventions so here they have given latitude is 78 meters and departure is minus 45.1 meter so where which quadrant does it lie first we have to draw a diagram so latitude is in plus so this side and departure is in minus so this area so this point b will lie in the fourth quadrant so they are asking the whole circle bearing of the line ab so this is what we want first we have to find out theta as in reduced bearing because we know for calculating latitude and departure reduced bearing system is used so latitude is l cos theta departure is l sin theta so if you take this tan theta equal to 45.1 divided by 78 it is nothing but we know latitude is 78 meters that is this area this length and departure we know it is 45.1 meter so tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side so opposite side opposite side is 45.1 meter and adjacent side is 78 meter so tan theta equal to 45.1 by 78 so theta equal to tan inverse of 45.1 by 78 you will get theta as 30 degrees so this is 30 degrees so if this is 30 degrees what is the whole circle bearing it is 360 minus 30 degrees which is equal to 330 degrees 
so the answer is option d if you want to solve this very fastly you know latitude and departure lies in this quadrant so the whole circle bearing of anything which lies in this quadrant will be greater than 270 degree here only option d is greater than 270 degree so you can directly click option d without solving the whole example whole problem now let us see one more question which was asked recently in gate 2016 so they are saying that reduced bearing of the line is north 30 degree east and length they have given let us say line is ab length they have given as 10 meter so north 30 degree east will refer to this quadrant So this is 30 degrees. They have given the length of the line as 10 meters. So this is L equal to 10 meter. This length they have given. We know departure is perpendicular to the reference median that is this portion which is equal to L sin theta. Here L is 10 meter and theta is 30 degrees sin 30 degrees sin 30 is 1 by 2 so we have 5 meter so the answer is option d 5 meter i hope these examples made you clear about departure and latitude now let us see the difference between two types of compasses whenever you measure the bearing so they use either prismatic compass or surveyor's compass in prismatic compass they use whole circle bearing whereas in surveyor's compass they use reduced bearing here sighting and bearing is taken simultaneously but here first sighting is done then bearing is taken surveyor's compass is the normal compass which you see and in prismatic compass prism mechanism is inward so the graduations are inverted when you look through a prism but here they are as it is the graduations and here the needle is edge bar type so it can act, act as index also suppose here the graduations are there 90 degree 45 degree like that this needle itself can act as index but whereas in prismatic compass broad needle is used which you cannot see and so it does not act as index this is the difference between prismatic and surveyor's compass and for measuring angle we have two instruments which is set stent and theodolite thank you guys for watching the video to continue to watch more videos like this please subscribe to our channel